Hello, Seven Citizens. My name is Black, and welcome to my channel, Casa Black Gaming, a home where new players and old alike can find helpful guides, honest ship reviews, graphical vehicle loadouts, and sometimes my middle of the road opinion on upcoming features, which is exactly what I want to talk about today. Now with the upcoming 323 footage and news, we've seen some leaks and surprises recently, which have picked up in Steam. So this seemed like a good time to discuss not only what we've seen so far in terms of creatures that we should see soon, but also the possibilities for more creatures after this, like possibly a lot more and why they might not be off as far as many citizens might think. So why don't you sit back, get ready to listen to me share some theories on creatures using other games and a little bit of production knowledge and creature development that I happen to have. So before I continue, I do want to stress that this section of the video will cover recent leaks from players who have scavenged through the more recent Evocati patch where some news was found. Now you have been warned, so if you want to miss this info, then skip ahead to the next chapter. Okay, so on March 6th, during the Evocati testing, someone data mined that there are four types of fauna, or creatures, that were showing up in the files. Now this doesn't mean that they were in the game on that test build, but there is a good chance we should see them in time for 323. Now those four animals are the quasi-grazer, or space cows, which we've seen glimpses of in the Star Engine video, as well as a recent trailer, as well as floating past Jared's window in Star Citizen Live recently. There is another creature called a copion, which is labeled as a fast carnivorous animal, but more on that in a moment. There are also dogs, which in my mind makes me think not necessarily of pets that we can take on our ships, but guard dogs that might be set to path around with NPCs. There's also a webhound, which is unknown at this time as to what that might be, perhaps something in the arachnid family that hangs out in caves that might be some weird cross between a dog-like creature and an arachnid, or maybe even a hellhound type of creature. Oh, and there are also stone bugs that we have seen in caves since last year in the game that have little creepy crawly limbs that move, even though the bugs themselves are not mobile. We've also, of course, had mention of other creatures in the past, such as space whales, a snow beast on Microtech, and there is also the infamous sandworm and many other creatures from various planets that could come out at any time. There is also the highly mentioned Boids, which have popped up on the monthly reports and ISC sprint reports the past year or so, so we've known creatures are being worked on, and of course with the ISC which aired on Thursday, March 14th, Jared shared something secret that he was not supposed to share, or so he says, which was a picture of the Boids about to attack that woman, which in Jared's own words was an homage to Alfred Hitchcock's birds. Now over the weekend, we have since learned even more possible creatures, which started late Friday, early Saturday, with a social media post on Twitter and TikTok, which showed a player tossing a flare and then hearing a low rumbling roar in the background when in a dark cave. Now, sharp-eyed players were equipped to enhance the contrast on the video, and we could make out what looked like a cat-like wolf creature approaching. Then, with the latest Evocati patch, we learned that this same creature is called a Copion, which checks with that name leak from a couple of weeks ago, which was that dangerous four-legged predator, and we also found out that there will be missions to go out to the sand caves to kill these creatures, and possibly more missions beyond this. We also got a name for the Boids, which are called Gillies, and it looks like they will have their max flight set to 3000 above the surface, so might these be flight hazards as we're coming in out of the clouds to land? All I know is that it's looking like creatures are making their real debut in 323. So I think that pretty much sums up what we have heard about some creatures that have been teased or seem to be in active development. Now this past year, we've also seen on last year's Inside Star Citizen 150th episode sprint report in March, how Boyds and Fish were coming along. And while they were not doing too much at that point, they have since been worked on pretty steadily over the last year now. And as my next chapter will go over, creatures can begin to really be populated once the initial pipeline is done. So what makes me so confident in saying that not only will we see the creatures that have been teased thus far arrive pretty soon, but why I think it's just the beginning of what can easily be a feature that grows exponentially over the next few months to a year ahead. Well, it's all about creating a pipeline. 
Creatures in games generally include your basic skeletons, then rigging the animations to those skeletons. Then after you have your basic forms done, you can use skeletons across many different types of animals. So think of having a bird skeleton functioning and then just scaling that up or down or having a pipeline in place to be able to more quickly change skeletons for a variety of birds or other winged creatures such as bats. You could then do the same thing for the space cow or bipedal creatures, etc. A space cow bone structure could be altered slightly to be a bear or other type of monster. A two-legged creature can be a snow monster or maybe a gorilla type, and so on. Then it's just a matter of applying skins and sculpting molds to those creatures, with even then more being able to have their textures changed to look like various types or even have colors of creatures that are different. Now a game that I've played and worked with in their modding dev kit has been Ark Survival Evolve, where they have almost 200 creatures, and their creatures are some of the best that I've seen in a game with great animations, active and good working AI, and a wide variety of breeds. Yet at times they do have some creatures that share similar riggings, so you know they're probably more on the side of reskins so to speak, such as the normal T-Rex compared with the Bionic T-Rex, or even their Argentavis and Snow Owl, which if you've flown these two you know they feel very similar. Now with a game like Ark, I'm not sure how big their initial creature team was, but they were able to pump out dinos pretty regularly as in every month or two during the game's initial year of launch. It's all because they had a good working pipeline in place, similar to how ships are done now pretty smoothly in Star Citizen. But with creatures, it will be so much easier to put out new creatures than ships. So even with a small team, they should be able to get out quite a bit of creatures as they see fit to do. Now we have no idea how many creatures they're going to release or how much they will fill in a planet or moon's population, and they don't have to completely make animals appear everywhere. But my main point is that many other games, including Starfield, had animals and they do help create more immersion, even if they are sparsely populated as they were in Starfield. So with proven animal tech already being a pretty standard feature in games, I see no reason for any more delays in us seeing them arrive in Stanton and definitely in Pyro. It's one of those features that might not get everyone excited at first, but will definitely be something that can be expanded on, whether that be through crafting or missions or exploratory sciences or perhaps that age old MMO staple fishing. I mean, can't you just see yourself hovering over a lake in your Cutlass Black, fishing up some sweet space trout, or maybe you need to go wrangle up some space cows and deliver them to a steakhouse on Area 18. Maybe you need some webhound glands to craft some new medicine for an outbreak on Hurston. It's just one more addition to the verse that will help elevate the game's immersion, and I for one am pretty excited for it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Please do all of the things that help a small channel like mine grow. And I also want to hear your thoughts on creatures down below. What sort of cool missions do you imagine we could be doing in regards to creatures in the verse? What do you think we'll see in 323? Or do you think I'm way off base here and creatures are still months out? Anyway, thanks for watching and keep it positive out there as you go about the verse.